Hello, this is a tutorial on how to play Speak For Me by Cat Power. Um, this was a request that I'm very, very happy to do. I love Cat Power. And um, I have uh, haven't posted in a very long time because I've been really busy. So this is for who requested this like about a month ago, I think. Um, this is uh, Speak For Me by Cat Power. And this is a very easy song. Um, it has the same chord shape throughout the whole song, so it's just this simple power chord shape, which I'll get into in a second. Um, and the uh, sharing pattern is also very easy. Uh, so let's get into it. So this is standard tuning. I'm using my uh, electric guitar, but you're welcome to use an acoustic guitar if that's what works better for you, if that's what you have, if that's what you're more comfortable with. It doesn't matter. Both work. It, uh, she plays on the electric guitar, but uh, yeah, either one works good. So we're going to start on the first chord. You're going to want to put your pointer finger onto the E string, which is the big string at the top on the fifth fret. Ring finger is going to go on the A string, which is right below it. Pinky finger is going to go on the string right below that. So it's the A and D. This is the seventh fret. They both go on the seventh fret. Pointer finger goes on the, a, uh, on the uh, big E on the five. And that's how it's going to sound. And you're going to want to mute all the lower strings with your finger, so don't crush them. Just just push down on that one note and then mute the rest. So this is the same exact shape you're going to keep throughout the whole song. So no matter what, you're going to slide, you're going to lift up, you're going to move, you're going to keep this exact same shape. So when I say something like 5 and 7, that means it's the 5 and 7 here. We get to another one that's uh, 3 and 5. So 3 and 5. And it's the same exact shape except moved up. So that's the second chord actually. So you're going to start on the 7 and 5 and you're in the next chord is this 5 and and the strumming pattern is also very easy. So it's uh, four down strokes and then the last one there's a up stroke and that's the transition uh, strum. So it's um, four down strokes and an up stroke to transition, and you go down to the five and three, and you go back up. So that's the intro. So you play that, that succession. So, so what I just played now, you're gonna play that four times, um, and that's for the intro. And then the verse is the exact same pattern, except you play it 12 times. And the verse starts when she starts to sing. So you'll play it four times, and then she'll start to sing. And then you play it 12 more times. All right. And then after you play, so in total, that makes you playing that back and forth 16 times. So again... That was one time, and then you play that 16 more times, four for the verse, 12 for the ver er, four for the intro, 12 for the verse. And then after you get done with that last part, once you start singing about the old world, um, you're gonna do the uh, pre-chorus, which it's pretty much the same, but there's a little bit of a variation. So you're gonna play this four, and this is where it changes. So instead of going back up to here, you're gonna instead lift up, and go to the same strings but on a chord higher so you're gonna have your pointer finger on this string and your other two on the two higher strings so it's gonna be playing that so just for reference this is an a5 this is a g5 this is a d5 and then after you play that you're gonna go to a c5 which is the five and three so it's basically the same placement just moved down or moved up to higher strings. But don't do what I just did and play it like this. Play it like. So you start here. So this is how it sounds all together. So that succession, I'll count that as one. So this whole thing. And you'll play that whole thing five times. So you'll play that whole thing I just played, those four chords in succession, five times. 
for the pre-chorus, and then the chorus is the exact same, and you'll play it three times. So the whole so after the first verse, you'll play those four chords in succession eight times. And then on the eighth time, the last time you play the C5, which is this, which is this one right here. Instead of playing it four times, you're gonna play it eight times. So it'll sound like so the whole succession on the eighth time will sound like this. And then you'll go back to what we were playing before with the intro and the verse, which was just the back and forth. And you'll play that twice. And that is the pre-verse before we get to the next verse which again is the exact same as verse one you'll play it 12 times um so the pre-verse you'll play it two times the first two you'll play it 12 times so in total that'll be 14 times you play the uh back and forth before we get to another pre-chorus which is the exact same as the previous pre-chorus and same thing with the chorus is it'll be the exact same including the transition um c5 chord uh, you'll play the pre-chorus combined with the chorus. You'll play that succession eight times as well. And then the transition part will go back into the... You'll play that four times just like you did for the intro. So yeah, that is the whole song. Um, it's very easy, like I said. Um, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future songs you'd like me to do, leave them in the comments below. I can't guarantee you'll be out fast, but um, I'll try to get those out and uh, respond to any comments you have. All right. Thank you. Bye.